good day. This is Kaipacha on Beltane, May 1st, 2019. And I'm here outside Glastonbury. I'll have the tour behind me for this report. I don't know if you're familiar with the tour. <laughs> You'll see it, an ancient monument. And this is a very special Beltane celebration. It's actually, Beltane is the cross quarters when the sun is midway between the spring equinox and the summer solstice, 15 degrees of Taurus. And that is actually where we are having a new moon at 14 degrees, 11 minutes of Taurus on Friday. So you're in time for it. It's the real Beltane, but we celebrate it on May 1st here. We just set up the Maypole and the Maypole dance. So what else is happening? Besides that new moon, right now the moon is in Aries, right? And, you know, goes into Taurus. And then we have that new moon on Friday. But in the meantime, today we have Mercury in square to Saturn. Mercury is moving along so fast, sometimes even two degrees a day, just cruising, cruising along, yeah? So he's gonna square Pluto tomorrow and trine Jupiter, right? And then just like keep going along until by Monday, he scoots into Taurus, yeah, and that's going to be, yeah, he's going to bump into Uranus over there. He's going to be catching up to a lot of different things. Look at these guys. I love these. I wonder if I could zoom in on these things. Let's try that. Yeah. Well, let me zoom in on my little old friends. Look at this guy. That's great. They are checking me out. Last week it was Mama Bird. Now, now I'm scaring the sheep. I know this might be sensitive for some of you. I think they're going to be all right with it, though. Besides Mercury, then, what else is going on? Venus. Venus is going along, and next week she is going to come into a square with Saturn. But most of all, probably, what I want to be talking about is Mars. In opposition to Jupiter, exact, on Sunday... You know, it was square Neptune exact last week. So we have this great Mars-Jupiter-Neptune T-square in the mutable signs of Gemini, Sagittarius, and Pisces. So I want to just look at the camera, talk to you a little bit about what that is before it starts raining cats and dogs. <laughs> With our sheep, there's some cows over in the other field. Ha, 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 ha. Happy Beltane. <laughs> yes, celebrating fertility, the bull. This is the time of year. Yes, it is the wild and the free. Nothing like Mars opposite Jupiter in square to Neptune, unbounded. Yes, unbounded Mars is this powerful, powerful, masculine, phallic energy. Yes, in opposition to Jupiter. Jupiter in Sagittarius, his home. Yes, of nature, the wild, natural law, freedom and expansion. So this is a, just a wonderful, beautiful, marvelous time to celebrate. Yes. The, the juice is rising, you know, the flowers coming. I wanted to get some pictures of these flowers around here. The, everything is blooming and blossoming here in England. Can you see the tour back there? It's starting to drizzle on me, and there's, you know, there's a little bit of rain, but that is the tour on the top of the mountain, standing erect for many, many, many years. So what is this about? Yes, I mean, Taurus, fixed earth. Fixed earth. That powerful, ruled by Aphrodite, Venus, the feminine. So we have this beautiful time, okay, right? You know, and, and of course, you know, Mercury moving into Taurus shortly. 
Venus now in square to Saturn and Pluto, deepening, deepening, deepening. And of course, yes, the moon's nodes because Saturn is conjunct that south node of the moon today. And you know, I've spoken about this before. This is going on for quite some time. This is a deepening. And the mantra today is about this deepening, deepening, deepening. You know, the feminine is earth and water in astrology. It goes deep down in. It is the force and the power of Mother Nature and Mother Earth and the feminine herself. That is ancient, ancient, ancient wisdom. And what does that ancient wisdom goddess mother energy do? But she holds us. She supports us. She nourishes us. From, you know, from her we are born and to ashes we shall return. I mean, we come and go. These physical bodies will decompose and return to her. I mean, it's just so... Such a very powerful feminine goddess energy. And we know that through these thousands of years of patriarchy, she has been conquered. She has been attempted to be mastered, attempted to be conquered, attempted to be suppressed, used, using all of her resources, polluting her waters, yes, and just cutting down her trees. And it's just been, it has been very hard. So the feminine, yeah, has been deeply wounded. This feminine goddess energy, our own mother energy, has been used and abused. And there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of her story in his story. And it is a story of abuse it is a story of and within all of that use and abuse she is still here still giving still blossoming the flowers still giving her minerals to the trees yes and and the water and so this you know this is a picture of our own evolutionary development, our own, this now rising energy of the feminine is rising up within each and every single one of us. And this Beltane period, this new moon in Taurus is a time to celebrate this beautiful feminine energy. And this beautiful feminine energy is patient and is compassionate and puts up with all of the slow masculine learning <laughs> and kind of the dull, you know, the club, the barbarian, okay, you know, the crude, the ignorance. I mean, you know, there's just so much tolerance in the feminine. So this Venus is soft, and this north node of the moon in Cancer, the water sign of nurturing and loving and holding. So this is a period of deepening. And this mantra today is about going within Taurus. This earth is our resources, not only our physical resources, but all of our resources, our talent, capacities, our possessions, our money, it's bringing in. <clears throat> it is the receptive element of that feminine and that stable, fixed earth that holds steady, perseveres, and gives and receives and receives and gives back. And there's just this beautiful breathing in and out and it's just a beautiful dance and that is what the maypole dance is about where they weave together those ribbons yes and it's weaving together this masculine and feminine energy 
And so this is a time period, I'd say, where it is time to go deep down within. I mean, I just got this mantra in the middle of the night last night. I'm not quite sure what it means myself. <laughs> so... <laughs> But I feel into it, and I feel these times with all this Capricorn, Saturn, South Node, all of this pressure. It's time for each of us to dig deep down within and find that elder, that wisdom keeper, that great mother, father energy, mother earth, and father sky is really Capricorn Cancer Axis where these moons, nodes are now transiting. And so it is also a time, I would say, where if we don't go down and we don't go in and we don't delve into find greater power and strength and we stay on the surface, we can get swept away. We can get caught up in the whirlwind of what's going on. We can really get angry and revengeful. And this can be the feminine energy that is just, you know, attacking the masculine or tearing down, right? And it's, you know, has this withholding, not giving, not supporting, not nourishing, but rather in anger, withdrawing, yes, and protecting and shutting down. So the challenge at this time is to keep the heart space open and to stay in a vulnerable, loving space and invite in like the great Mother Earth has been doing for these thousands of years. You could call them idiots. You could call them fools. Yes, but what does she do? She loves and nurtures every single one of us without exception. Yeah, tolerance. Tolerance, patience, and compassion. The Great Mother. So the mantra, I am being measured. I'm not sure what for. But I know that deep within, there is so much more. I am so much more. The 45 degree aspect, right, from zero degrees Aries to 15 degree Taurus, this is a semi-square. It is a very yin aspect of delving deep down within ourselves and finding new resources, new ways of making a living, new sources of income. Yes, you know, just new capacities, new talents. I encourage you over this next month, this new moon sets the tone for the next month. Pick up a new instrument. Start a painting, you know, do something beautiful. Make the world a more beautiful place as the result of something that you have discovered within yourself. And maybe you'll discover some new passion, some new desire, some new intention, meaning, or purpose in your life with this beautiful T-square Mars opposite Jupiter. So I encourage you to reach both down deep within and also up, yes, up, up, out, and away <laughs> to Neptune square Jupiter, Jupiter opposite Mars, Mars square Neptune. The planets are always doing the dance. May you join them also. One more time. I am being measured. I'm not sure what for, but I know that deep within, I am so much more. Namaste. Aloha. So much love. Uh -huh.